Margaret Rich environment that's in front of you is there for the taking. The risk has been beaten out of this thing, totally. But we have the fear that it might go lower. So what if it goes 5% more? You're going to make 50 to 100% in the next 12, 18, 24 months. Again, if you use your brain. And that brings us to the core state store. And I think one of the key <laughs> things, <laughs> because you know we cannot foretell the future, so that's why I like looking at the past. It'll tell you something. Going forward, we will have many conflicts. We have many challenges. Nothing will change in terms of the behavior aspects of human beings that drive markets. So what do we have to do? We have to go from that four-cylinder engine, stocks, bonds, cash, and real estate, and basically the behavioral tendencies during that mega bull market was to buy and hold. And the way you're going to get your DB plans to go black and be positive and create wealth and do the things they're supposed to is by expansion. We have to have managed futures. Part of the energy policy in America, this is one of the things that really irks me, was what, instead of drilling and doing other things, we took all our corn of the sows and burned it up for ethanol. What did you accomplish? I'll tell you. Do you want to look at the price of corn? Can we talk like this? <laughs> what went with the price of corn like this? Chickens, piggies, you name it. And you all made no money on that. Nothing. And the bottom line is with managed futures, you can do that energy complex, gold. Currency is the biggest market on earth. After 9-11, the buildings came down in uh, New York. I worked two World Trade 1 and 2 for a lot of years, and that was like, wow, unbelievable. The other thing that hit me in the head after all that um, uh, issue was that the only markets that were open in America for six days, because the NYC and all our capital markets were closed, was the currency market. And I confess, I was a dope. I had no exposure. It's like, never again. The biggest market on earth, the largest, is currencies, open 24-7. Mainly the bankers play there, 50 million position we're out. Great place to trade. Great place to manage risk. And you go right on down the line. Long, short. We don't just buy something to go up. Markets move down. You made nothing. We made a lot of money. And you know what? For those that wanted to pay attention about managing risk, you had all the warning signs that they're getting drunk. They're throwing caution to the wind. It's time to step back. I don't mind telling you that in 1999, I had five key clients that fired me because we went to cash and we got tech out of the house doing dot com. 2006, I got ridiculed on CNBC. I said, there's a big storm coming. What are you, crazy? It's wonderful. Come by your time. The sun is shining. But they didn't see the Category 5 coming. There was ample warning. And the key to the future, my friends, is to bring up your IRR and ROI in your portfolio so that you don't have this big gun to your head about making up the difference. And the only way you're going to do that is by thinking outside that damn style box. Think outside the box. Everybody says, well, we'll allocate 5% to toilets. We'll internationalize 5% to emerging markets. It's stupid, stupid, stupid. And you hear guys that say, oh, that's the future. The correlation rate between international stocks and domestic is now 90%. You accomplish nothing for taking the added risk of investing in China. But stock versus currency, the correlation rate is 4%. What does that mean, correlation? The movement in prices up or down. If they go like this, that's a beautiful thing because we cannot foretell the future. So if four of your cylinders are firing up and two are down and two are flat, bravo, you're still alive. You don't have these gigantic sinkholes of down 30, 40, 50 percent of your portfolios. And the suspended wearing consultants are going to tell you to be fully invested all the time, long, long, through stuff like this, shoot them. Because there's going to be more stuff like this. And if our thinking is right, we're going to go through a period of digestion because of globalization, imbalances, a lot of things. It's normal. But you better change thy ways and benefit from it. Don't be afraid of it. Hit it head on. And I promise you, once we get through this period of digestion, which may be three, four, five, six more years, you'll see another large American line let up. We will leave the world again. Nanotechnology, the energy complex. We spend hundreds of billions of dollars on Nuclear science is mainly for uh, weapons. Get the Department of Energy to put that back in the private side. And I'll show you another major American influence on humanity. So it's not a time to be afraid. It's not a time to be a bear. It's a time to say, look at all this opportunity. Manage the risk. Go for it. And I'm telling you, there'll be fortunes made. And if they pass mark to market, remember me, because we'll probably see a 1,000 point update when that relief is recognized. So, anybody that would like some of our pictures, um, call us, 
we'll email them to you, and it's um, a great way to tell a story, I think. <laughs> Good luck next year. Thank you very much.